Hello everyone, friends? You probably didn't know that Google created several secret games and hid them. So, we found these games today and are going to play them with my friends from our amazing digital circus. But first, we'll take a walk to my room. To find out what's in my room, you need to like and subscribe. Come on, I'm waiting. Well, three, two, one. <laughs> There's a puking Pomni here today! Wait, did you really just call my digital circus yours? I don't remember that I transferred the rights to control it to you. Don't be such a bummer, Kane. Let's better play the first game for today, and the first game for today is Pac-Man. Oh, I remember this game very well. I played this game a lot as a child. I remember that in one of the Walmarts near my house, there was a slot machine with this game. Stop fantasizing, Pomni! We don't remember our childhood almost at all, just like we don't remember what Walmart is. At least we were told to do it according to the script. Stop saying this, Kinger. We're not filming our series right now, and in general, we can tell all our secrets here. And yes, we know what Walmart is. While you were discussing all this nonsense, Jax had already completed more than half of the game. Well done, Jax. Keep up the good work. I really hope you can beat this game today. Yes, he really manages to pass it very easily. He ate almost all the ghosts. It's a shame that these ghosts keep spawning here. But I think that this will not stop Jax from completing this game to the end. To be honest, I'm now trying to beat Pac-Man for the first time in a long time, and I've never managed to win this game. But I hope that now I can do it, because at the moment, I am making pretty good progress. Come on, buddy! All you have to do is eat a few of these strange circles, and all the ghosts are far away from you. Cool! You won! That was great. Now let's move on to the next secret Google game. Wait! Is, is this soccer? Cool! I just love soccer! My favorite team is Barcelona, and I love Lionel Messi very much. It seems to me that if I show Speed heard what you were saying now, he would definitely start barking and break some of his devices. By the way, just look at this game. Here you need to save penalties, and Jax has already missed two of them. It seems to me that he just didn't understand the controls a little. Oh look, now he started hitting those balls. Well, this was a test attempt. And now we will replay this game again in order to try to hit as many balls as possible. The main difficulty of this game is that sometimes the balls fly to the bottom of the goal and sometimes to the top. And in order to hit them here, you need to either press the jump button or not press it. But you definitely need to point the mouse where the ball is flying. It seems to me that even in the FIFA simulator, the penalty kick mechanics are much easier than this. Well, in any case, Jaxa is doing pretty well. He has already hit 11 goals and missed only one. I think this will definitely become my favorite secret Google game because this gameplay is really quite interesting. The player's reaction and attentiveness are very important here. By the way, I notice that the speed of the ball is gradually accelerating and the time to aim the cursor becomes a little less. It makes this game more difficult and more hardcore. You've already scored 23 points on your second try and you're not even going to stop. Well, this is very cool. Oh, looks like you just missed one goal by accident. Well, I do notice that they become much faster and you literally have a second to decide whether you need to jump here or not. Everything here is just like real football. In general, I don't like football at all, but it seems to me that it's very strange that in some countries it is called soccer and in some it is called football. Perhaps it's because we have American football. I can't answer this question for you, but I can say that we are now moving on to the next game. And the next game is Tic-Tac-Toe. It's very strange that they decided to add such a simple game to Google's secret games, but nevertheless, this game is very interesting, despite its simplicity. If someone suddenly doesn't know the rules of this game, then we need to fill in the cells with our symbols so that they line up in a row of three symbols. In this case, we play for the cross. Do you really think that among our viewers there is someone who does not know the rules of this game? It seems to me that even small children know them. By the way, here is our first victory. It was very easy. Jax, do you know any secret tactics? Wow, he actually beat him easily. I remember as a child at school, I played tic-tac-toe with my neighbor at my desk and always lost to him. But Jax manages to defeat this artificial intelligence again and again. Didn't you think that this is happening precisely because I am an artificial intelligence like all of us? Well, let's change the difficulty of our opponent to impossible and try to beat him. Well, let's try to defeat him this time. I hope that this level will not be impossible for you. You did pretty well playing against him last time. 
Wow, this time it's really noticeable how our opponent is trying to beat us. Well, I think that this is indeed a more difficult opponent than the one we played against before. And therefore, let's admit that a draw this time is a really good result. I think we should try to beat him again. Jax is pretty good at this game. I think he can definitely come up with a strategy with which he can easily beat this artificial intelligence. I saw somewhere that playing for crosses is a win-win strategy with which you can win 100% of the time. But it seems to me that this time Jax will not be able to defeat him because he initially placed his symbols incorrectly. Artificial intelligence takes the lead and earns the first point. Well, I think Jax needs to rack his brain a little to try and win it at least once. My friend, let's think more logically and stop placing your crosses randomly. I think with your advice, you are making it very difficult for him to concentrate, and that is why he is unable to beat this artificial intelligence. Maybe you should really be quiet for a bit and let him try to win. It seems to me that this will not help him because his little brain is not capable of winning at least one game of a complex bot in tic-tac-toe. Buddy, try to really think logically for once. Let's stop suffering and finally move on to the next secret Google game. It sounded quite offensive, but I think you're right, and now let's play a secret game of basketball with you. Just look! Here you need to throw the ball into this basket. So that you understand how difficult it is to do this, here you need to press the space button in time for this player to throw the ball into the basket. If the interval between your presses on the space bar is too long or too small, you will definitely miss. This guy is so bad that I think if LeBron James saw this, he would cry and cover his eyes with his hands. Well, the first time we only earned four points, but I think for a first try it was pretty good. Although no, it was just terrible. Let's try to cope at least a second time. But unlike football, I really like basketball and I'm a huge fan of the Lakers team. I remember that when I went to this team's basketball game as a child, I saw a young Kobe Bryant. I will remember this day for the rest of my life. And all my life, I've been dreaming of seeing Shaquille O'Neal. I'm very interested in whether I'll be taller than at least his knee or not. I think this guy is very gigantic. By the way, this time we did it a little better. We earned 10 points. I think Jax has trained quite well. Let's try this game one more time and see how many points Jax can earn. I think I like this game more than all the ones we played because I'm also a huge basketball fan. Because of my height as a child, I was sent to the basketball section and I played it for a very long time until I received a head injury. After this injury, I began to get scared of everything and hide in pillows. Now, I understand why you are so, um, strange. Well, this time we earned a little more, namely 14 points, and now let's move on to the next game. This head that is right next to us is really very huge. Ooh, that was pretty dangerous. Just look at this guy. It's a huge running head with arms and legs. This guy reminds me of Mr. Potato Head. Just look at him hanging out here with that Mr. Triple Head. Just imagine how you wake up in the middle of the night and go to the toilet, turn on the light, and see this head in front of you. In fact, I would really like to chat with the creator of this game because as you may have noticed, I just adore all sorts of psychos. Oh, I think this girl was in a lot of pain. Did you really think that I would fall for this idiotic trick? Imp to find out what's in my room, you need to like and subscribe. Come on, I'm waiting. Well, three, two, one. Jax, you're sick of making jokes like that! Stop doing that! Oh. Hello, everyone, friends, and today we will run away from the big head. What? Big head? Seriously? It even sounds strange. We have already played a huge number of modes in Roblox, but escape from the big head is really something unusual. Yes, I was also very surprised when I heard this name, but so far this game is quite interesting to me. Let's see what challenges lie ahead of us. Now, we are in some kind of huge labyrinth and trying not to get caught by these strange big heads. Well, this is quite interesting gameplay. There are a lot of interesting challenges here. Let's climb those red steps and see what lies ahead. Great. I think we just saved and now we need to run past these three huge heads. Jax copes with this task simply excellent. This head that is right next to us is really very huge. Well, we climbed up those red steps and we saved our progress. It's great. And now let's climb these stairs. Ooh, that was pretty dangerous. It's good that Jax noticed in time that there was a trap. And now we move on to stage number two. The first stage was pretty easy. I managed to pass it the first time. Well, let's now try to maintain the same pace in stage number two. Here, by the way, a huge wooden maze awaits us in which we will also need to escape from large heads. 
It looks like this stage will be a little more difficult than the previous ones because here we won't be able to jump over these heads from above and all we can do is just run away from them. Great! One more save. We saved our progress again, and now let's continue to go through this labyrinth. It seems to me that it would be very difficult to play from a phone. It's good that we play this game using a PC and we can pass all the tests quite easily. It seems to me that if there were no saves here, this game would be impossible to complete on the phone the first time. I don't really like playing games on my phone at all. I find it extremely unusual to use the touch screen to control a character in Roblox. I really like to play on the computer because I played on the computer as a child, and for me, it is very easy to control the characters using the keyboard. I completely agree with you. It also seems impossible for me to play games like this with my phone, but it seems to me that our subscribers cope with this perfectly. By the way, guys, be sure to write in the comments. What device do you use to play Roblox? I hope you wrote your answer in the comments. And we will definitely read all your comments and find out how many of you play Roblox using your phone and how many of you play Roblox using your PC. I'm wondering if among our subscribers there are people who play Roblox using Xbox or PlayStation. Okay, it's not that important. By the way, we have passed the second stage and now we are in some kind of huge sandy maze. It's cool that the locations here are different at all stages. This is really interesting. Wait, what? Were there two heads? Just look at this guy. It's a huge running head with arms and legs. This guy reminds me of Mr. Potato Head. He really looks like him in some way, but he lacks a mustache. In general, it seems to me that with each stage, our opponents become more and more strange. These heads are constantly transforming. Oh my god, why is this head so fast? Did you see how fast she ran up to us? He even managed to scare me a little. Oh, hello, Mr. Potato Head. Are you here again? This guy really looks very goofy. By the way, he is not alone in this game. There really are a lot of them. Just look at him hanging out here with that Mr. Triple Head. Create this game is really a little crazy, but I mean that in a good way because all these mobs look weird but very cool. I really enjoy playing this game because this head is as much goofy as it is creepy. Just imagine how you wake up in the middle of the night and go to the toilet, turn on the light, and see this head in front of you. What will be your next steps? The only thing that comes to my mind is that I would faint or reflexively hit him. It seems to me that there simply cannot be other options for events. I don't even want to try to imagine. This is because as soon as I start doing this, my whole body is covered with goosebumps. I mean, I didn't mean the body. In general, it's difficult to explain, but I think you understand me. It's strange that there are such expressions in your vocabulary, but if I imagined such a situation, it seems to me that I would simply change my comedy mask to a fear mask. This is my honest reaction, but all the unusual incidents that happen around me. By the way, we have already moved to the fourth stage, and here we will again have to travel through some kind of huge brick labyrinth. It's very strange that you weren't surprised by a huge obby with a giant head and several other ordinary heads that were glued together into an incomprehensible figure. In general, this game is quite psychedelic, but nevertheless, it is quite interesting due to the fact that there are a lot of funny challenges and traps. In fact, I would really like to chat with the creator of this game because as you may have noticed, I just adore all sorts of psychos, and it seems to me that this person is a cooler freak than all the participants in our amazing digital circus. It seems to me that you would definitely find a common language with him. <laughs> oh, another save. Very cool. Now let's go upstairs where this huge glowing green arrow is pointing us. I think I need to go down here. Yes, there was a trap. Well, let's still look where the green arrow is directing us and follow it. She has never deceived us yet, and she always shows us the way. I see the end of this stage. Cool. We easily go through all these stages. So far we've only died once, but I think there's nothing wrong with that. Because this game is really a little hard at some points. And now we will need to run away from huge female heads in this giant mirror maze. I am still surprised by how enormous the imagination of the creator of this map is. Just look! There was just a capybara running through there, scattering banana peels all over this maze. Oh, I think this girl was in a lot of pain. Well, I think this game is quite cruel, but nevertheless, it is very funny because it is really very difficult to find a way out of this mirror maze. We constantly run into various dead ends. 
It's good that there is no ceiling here and we can jump over these heads. Otherwise, it would be impossible to pass this level. Yes, I really like this game too. I really hope that our subscribers like it too and they will write about it in the comments. If this game gets really many views, we will definitely make a sequel to how we play it because this game is really difficult and we love challenging games. Did you really think that I would fall for this idiotic trick? I took this coin and move on. I immediately realized that this is not the end of this game. Now we need to run across these bridges. By the way, they break all the time. Great, we passed them and now we are saved. Now we need to pass the next test. To do this, we need to run through these strange orange pipes. Let's see what challenges lie ahead of us. Great, another save. Oh, there are moving lasers and heads that come down on us right from above. Ooh, this task is quite difficult, but it's good that we managed to pass it on the first try. And now we are heading through these doors straight to the next game. Oh, the last door was wrong, but this door will send us straight to the next game. Just look at this funny dancing Jax. Hey, what? Did he get angry at us through the bars? Why is this guy running after us just like Naruto? Ragatha, oh my gosh. It's Pomni, but why does she have such a strange face? I don't think this Pomni really likes being in this game. Oh, is this really me? Hello, everyone, friends, and today you and I will escape from my prison in Roblox. Just look at this funny dancing Jax. Hey, what? Did he get angry at us through the bars? It's pretty weird. Well, let's go upstairs and start playing this game. This Jack's prison looks pretty creepy because of the textures the developers used. I don't really like this dirty yellow color. I think this is very similar to Jax's style because he's such a dirty guy. Oh, that sounded pretty weird and cringe. I hope you meant that he is dirty because he constantly throws his socks everywhere and leaves dirty dishes behind him. Wow, Kinger, I didn't think that such words were in your vocabulary. Well, I think that's exactly what she meant. It's good that Jax coped with this test so quickly, and now we will see the boss in the form of him. Looks like this boss continues to attack us from the moment we saw him through the bars. It's strange that he immediately ran out here. It would be very creepy if he was waiting for us right under the ventilation outlet. Why is this guy running after us just like Naruto? Okay, okay, it doesn't matter. We got to the very top, and now we'll go to the room with toilets. The main thing is not to fall from these thin pipes. Speaking of pipes, it seems to me that this pipe should not be here. Okay, I won't even try to walk on it. I'll just go to the toilet room and start digging. I hope you haven't forgotten that the tunnel is in the second toilet stall and we don't have to open all the others. Okay, cool. Let's take this shovel and dig right down to the dungeon obby. And now we are here. God, I don't like the design of the location here at all. Why are these platforms so ugly? These textures that look like a chessboard don't suit the style at all. I completely agree with you. I don't like the way everything is designed here at all. Oh, just look. Is everything really black and light green in this tunnel? I'm about to throw up at how ugly this all looks. It seems to me that the design for this level was done by a real idiot. Wait, what? A tunnel with a rolling boulder also with the same textures? Oh my god. To be honest, it seems to me that this guy should no longer be hired as a designer. This acid green corridor gives me very strange feelings. I want to leave him as quickly as possible so as not to see him again. It's good that now we will find ourselves in the room with the boss knight. I really hope that everything will be fine with the design. Ragatha, oh my god, she looks very strange. You need to quickly escape from her into a tower with dilapidated steps. I would really like the creators of the map to finally change the test with dilapidated steps. It would be really cool if they added something cool here like lasers or other things, because I think this game is getting very monotonous. Every time we play it, I don't see any difference between this and the previous one. It's good that we'll now drink an energy drink and go on a race with an energy drink. I really love this part of Barry's Prison Escape because there is a lot of action in it, and in principle, it is more interesting to play than the rest of the game as a whole. Someday we will definitely donate to Roblox so that we can be given the opportunity to complete the game completely with the help of an energy drink. I would really like to set an absolute record in this game with the help of boosts. It would be very cool if our nickname was on the leaderboard. Yes, I also think that it would be very cool. Now let's go upstairs and take on this ladder challenge. I hope that we can do it the first time because usually after we install the ladder, we fall down several times before jumping into this ventilation. This ladder task is one of the most annoying in this game. It seems to me that few people managed to climb into this ventilation the first time. But this time, fortunately, 
We were very lucky, and we managed to do it. Well, that means that we can easily set a record for completing this game today. Let's not waste a second, and let's run forward very quickly. Yes, but unfortunately now we are waiting for the second boring building in this game, namely the location in which you need to turn the valve. It seems to me that nothing could be more boring than this task, because every time we come here, we know where these valves are, and we even chose for ourselves the most optimal route with which we can get through this location as quickly as possible. So I don't see any point in adding it to the game, because this task is very simple and boring. We turned all the valves, and now the steam will not interfere with our progress in this game. Well, I'm very glad that we completed this boring task, and now another interesting task awaits us, in which we will need to run in tunnels with fans. This task is really cool because in it, we develop really high speed, which is very similar to the speed that we develop in the race with energy drinks. What a pity that there are only two such interesting tasks in the game. I think someday we should definitely try to make a map like this ourselves. Well, for now, we have to play what we find in Roblox and what you write to us in the comments, dear subscribers. By the way, be sure to write your favorite mode in Roblox in the comments. We will choose the most liked comment and play this game for you. It's Pomni, but why does she have such a strange face? I think she looks a little shell-shocked. Well, let's take a bazooka and deal with it as quickly as possible. I really hope that she will run out of HP just like the previous boss did. I don't think this Pomni really likes being in this game. Well, let's shoot her. The main thing is to hit her directly in the head in order to kill her as quickly as possible and we will move on. Only a few shots left. Don't stop Jax. Keep shooting at her. Cool! We managed to do it, and now let's go down this slide. And then, there are only two tests waiting for us before we meet the final boss. I can't stop getting angry at the design of this game. I think this design was created by some crazy guy. How could anyone even think of making three textures and placing them on all surfaces in this game? I think this is the worst regime change in the history of the Barry Prison Break. I completely agree with you. They even kept the same textures in the laser test. Due to the fact that the walls are yellow-red, the red laser begins to merge very strongly with them, which makes this test a little more difficult. Well, of course I would like them to complicate this test, but in a slightly different way. Great. We passed this test, and now we have one last test left before meeting the final boss. Namely, the task with bridges. We must remember to use a life hack that will help us get through this location much faster. Namely, initially we need to reset all the bridges down so as not to constantly run after them to the second floor. Well, let's now install these bridges and walk across them. I really want to see as soon as possible who will be the final boss in this game. But I actually think it will be Kane. It's a pity. And I really want to see myself finally in this game. Don't worry about the bubble. Someday you and I will definitely be added to this game. Wait, what? Did they really not add the final boss from our circus here and just leave the original robot Barry here? I think the developer of this map should stop creating modes in Roblox because these guys are very lazy. He now has one arm missing. That's cool. Let's shoot at the second one. In fact, I think this guy will run out of HP faster than we can shoot this arm off. Just a few shots left and we will defeat him. Great. We did it! Now let's head to this machine and move on to the next game. I didn't like this game at all. Yes, I too can't wait to see what awaits us at the end. I think going ahead is not the best idea for you. Oh no! We fell! What? What's going on here? I would really like to build a similar map in Minecraft, but- Wait, what? Are we stuck? But no, it's just a small lag. My head rolled to the next save, and thanks to this, I no longer have to guess the right path. Hello, everyone, friends. Today we will play kart racing again. You wanted to say that I will play and everyone else will watch. I finally got the chance to play this game. I like her very much. Well, let's get in our cart and go forward. I hope that this time we will definitely be able to get to the very top the first time. Yes, this would be very cool because we have never managed to get to the end on the first try. By the way, have you noticed that the cart is a little laggy here? It seems to me that we should not regulate our speed because the speed at which we are traveling is the most optimal so that we do not fall down. Yes, I completely agree with you. It seems to me that at this speed we definitely won't fall anywhere, and at the same moment we are going quite fast. 
But it seems to me that we are driving slowly because this cart is moving at such a speed as if it were actually standing still. By the way, you were right. This cart does lag a bit. She stops in one place and then continues driving again. Well, I hope that because of this we don't fall down. Well, let's keep driving and we'll find out how we actually get to the finish line. But I continue to hope that Kane will be able to get to the end without falling even once. I'm really annoyed by the way this cart drives. It always seems to me that she will stop and then suddenly move forward. Now she's generally stopped at super long, but it seems to me that this rise will be very long. Every time we play this game, I remember that Minecraft also has a feature with trolleys. I would really like to build a similar map in Minecraft, but it seems to me that we will be building this map for a very, very long time. Speaking of Minecraft, I recently played Minecraft with one of my friends, and it turned out that this person doesn't know how to play Minecraft at all. He's a complete noob in this game. Guys, now the shadow of this character will appear on the screen, and you write in the comments... Who is this? Well, guys, I hope you wrote your answer correctly, and the correct answer will appear on the screen. In three, two, one, and yes, this is Zubal. Yes, I confess. I'm very bad at Minecraft because I played very little of this game as a child, but I really like this game. I would really like to learn how to play from her as professionally as you guys can play it. Guys, if you want us to teach her how to play Minecraft, be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. If this video gets 1,000 likes, we will record a video of how we teach Zubal to play Minecraft. By the way, in the meantime, we have completed that terribly long climb and we are almost up to the final stage of the cart race. Yes, and we didn't even go off the rails. This is very cool. I'm very glad that we can still beat this game the first time today. Wait. Was it just me, or is there a giant Pomni instead of Kane? Yes, it's her, but the game developers wrote that in this game, our final checkpoint will be my giant mouth. I also really hoped that we would enter my mouth and not Pomni's mouth as we always do. Well, it looks like the developers of this game deceived us, but I think there is nothing wrong with that. This means that we can try to set a world record in completing this map. We managed to complete this entire race today on the first try. The most important thing is not to fall down and keep going. Let's keep going at this speed and not regulate the speed of our cart. I really want us to be able to get to the finish line, and I'm very interested in what awaits us next. I really hope that there is an obby ahead of us, and they will give us a high-speed spring so that we can really speed it up! I think we will find out very soon because we are very close to the finish line. In fact, I really want to speed up our cart, but I understand that if we speed it up, we could fly off the rails straight down. I really don't want this to happen. So I think it's better for us to keep the same speed and slowly get to the finish line. We only have a few turns left and I think we need to be as concentrated as possible so that we don't fall down. Very often, right near the finish line, it happens that our cart goes off the rails and we begin to fall down. The main thing is that this does not happen now. We can really set a world record. It seems to me that someone has definitely set the fastest record in this game because you can donate here so that you have boosts at the very beginning with which you can get to the finish line without even getting into the cart. I think this is very unfair. I would really like there to be a separate leaderboard for those who complete this game without donating. Guys, we only have a few turns left and we will arrive at the end. Wait, what? Are we stuck? But no, it's just a small lag. Well, these lags are really quite annoying. It seems to me that the creator of this map needs to work on optimization so that we no longer get stuck in the middle of a race. I can't wait to see what happens when we get into the mouth of this giant Pomni. I really want to go through the obby and see the room with prizes that awaits us at the very end. Yes, I too can't wait to see what awaits us at the end. The last turn awaits us and we will rise straight to the finish. This is a very exciting moment and I would like us to definitely be able to get through it to the end. The main thing is that we definitely won't fall down and this means that we were able to complete this entire race to the end without a single fall. Wait, what? We are already inside and we need to continue walking? It is very strange. What's happening? I think going ahead is not the best idea for you. Oh no! We fell! What, what's going on here? Oh my god! It seems to me that the creators of this map were very lazy about optimizing this game. They need to try better. But they gave us a speed spring and now we can go through this obby at super high speed. 
This means that hopes for a big record are not lost yet and we can do it. The main thing is to run through this entire location and not fall even once. I really like the fact that this opportunity has been added to this game and we can really speed run the passage of this obby. This is very cool. The most important thing is that we don't need to donate Robux to get these boosts. We already have them at the very beginning of the passage. We are already as close to the finish line as possible. We need to climb this spiral rainbow staircase to the top. It's a pity that the speed spring does not speed up our passage of this staircase, and we will have to climb it at normal speed. But we can quickly pass the test that awaits us ahead. Yes, it also seems to me that it would be very cool if this spring accelerated our passage of this spiral staircase. Oh look, <sighs> this is a task in which we need to choose the right path. My head rolled to the next save, and thanks to this, I no longer have to guess the right path. Well, this is a very cool life hack. And here is the finish. We really managed to beat this game in record time. It seems to me that we have never completed this game so quickly. I really like this game because it gives us boosts at the very end. This is very cool. And the obbies we go through are really very interesting. Now, let's move on to the next game. Oh yeah, just look at how we move. This dance of the kitten savior. Hello, Mr. Kitten. Now you are coming with us. Mrs. Mom, hold another one of your babies. Oh, I think I see him. Wait, did we really just dive straight into the toilet? Oh. Hello, everyone, friends. Today, you and I will run away from a giant dog head. Wow, we have a skin of some kind of cat. What will we need to do in this game? In this game, we need to save seven kittens. To do this, we need to look for the keys, open these doors, and most importantly, not get caught by these dogs. Let's see what's behind this door. Oh. That's a huge dog's head. We need to go through this obby in order to save the first kitten. Here some platforms are falling down. Jax, you go through this obby like a real pro. I can already see the end of this obby. Great, we've arrived. Let's save this kitten now. Hello, Mr. Kitten, now you are coming with us. We will take you to your mother. We delivered our first kitten. Oh, the mother of the kittens thanks us and tells us that we have six more kittens left to find. Well, let's move on and find another kitten. Well, let's now explore this labyrinth and find the next door. We need to find the key to one of these doors. Oh, look, it's an orange door. Then it must be an orange key. Okay, we found it. A pack of mad dogs is chasing us. Now we need to deceive them and go through this door. They are quite slow. They can't catch up with us. Great. We're inside. Let's now see what test awaits us ahead. Here you need to choose the right path. I really want to speed run this map in order to get on the leaderboard of this game. Well, so far I seem to be doing pretty well. I complete all tasks very quickly. I'm surprised how quickly you can go through all these buildings. I don't even have time to understand what's happening on the screen. Well, you are very cool at checking all these secret passages. You can go through it very quickly. It seems to me that we are already very close to the kitten. All you have to do is get through this task. Oh look, yes, we went down and now we take another kitten and go with him to his mother. Cool, we delivered the kitten to mom and now we'll go look for the next one. We need to find five more kittens and so far, Jax has managed to get through this without a single death. Well, I hope that he will be able to pass it all on the first try. Look, we found a green key and a green door. Now let's go inside and see what awaits us ahead. This is some kind of obby with bones. Here you need to very carefully jump on these bones in order to get to the finish line. Well, I'm sure Jax will be able to do it on the first try. Yes, just look. He masterfully overcame all these bones. We are saving another kitten. Cool. We get through this game very quickly. Mr. Kitten, you are going with us to your mother. Let's enter this portal. Great, third kitten delivered. Well, there are only four kittens left to find in this maze. I think this is an easy task. It seems to me that these dogs do not pose any threat at all because they are absolutely unable to catch up with us. The hardest part here is finding the keys. You also need to remember the doors you've already been through. Well, I see a yellow key. Let's take it and move on to the next challenge. Yes, let's go into this yellow door now and see what awaits us ahead. Here's another obby. Here you need to jump on these stones and not fall into this strange red liquid. Well, I've seen how Jax copes with all the tests before, and so I think that this test will not be difficult for him either. Well, there is a save point here. This is good. Oh my god, I just almost fell right into that dog's mouth. Okay, let's keep jumping on these rocks. 
Here, after you jump on one of the stones, the next one immediately appears. It's not as difficult as it might seem. We got to the cage with another kitten, and now the fourth kitten is going straight to his mother. Mrs. Mom, hold another one of your babies. Great! The fourth baby is in place. There are only three of them left, and I hope that now we can find the next room. Well, let's still find a key of a different color from a room we've never been to before. Green key? It seems to me that we have already gone through the door with the green lock. Jax, let's focus on finding a different color key. I think he must be somewhere nearby. Oh, look! I thought there was a yellow key there. We definitely need to look for a different color key here. Yes, we have definitely been here before. I think we should hide behind the door with the yellow lock for now in order to run around these dogs. Great, Jax! What now let's find another key here? It seems to me that he definitely must be somewhere nearby. Oh, blue castle means let's look for the blue key. And here he is. Great, let's go through that door. It's a staircase. Let's go upstairs and see what awaits us there. Another labyrinth? Oh, it seems to me that this is an unusual labyrinth. Here, too, you need to choose the right path, as was the case in one of the previous tests. There are fake doors here. This test is much more difficult than the ones that came before. But nevertheless, we completed this task faster than all the others, and we are taking the fifth kitten with us. Great. Now we have delivered him to his mother, and we only have to find two kittens in this maze. Well, let's concentrate as much as possible to find them as soon as possible. It seems to me that there must be another entrance or key somewhere nearby. Oh, wait. It seemed to me... Look, a cage right in the middle of this maze. We urgently grab this kitten and run back to his mother. The main thing is that none of these dogs catch up with us now while we are trying to take this kitten from the maze to his mother. Great. I see a way out. Let's take the sixth kitten, and we will only have to find one kitten to complete this game. Just one kitten? Yes, this is the easiest task. I think we will now very quickly find a place where we will find the last kitten. Let's find the last task. Oh, I think I see him. Wait, did we really just dive straight into the toilet? Okay, let's try to complete this task by swimming through these sewer pools. I hope they don't keep this kitten underwater. They don't know how to swim and are very afraid of water. Well, we should hurry up so that they don't do anything bad, so kitten... Jax is a little confused in the controls, but I think we will still have time to save this kitten. Look, there is an undercurrent that cannot be touched. Otherwise, it can push it straight into the mouths of these dogs. Jax goes through everything quite skillfully, as if he was going through this game not for the first time. And now we won't have to run away from these dogs. I think I see a way out. Great. This is the cage with the last kitten. Let's pick him up and take the last kitten to his mother. And here is the last kitten. We collected all seven kittens and brought them to their mother. Look. Now the mother kitten has teleported us to some cool beach where all the kittens we saved are happy and dancing. Well, I think we need to stand among them and dance. Well, let's choose the best place and dance among them. Oh yeah, just look at how we move. This dance of the kitten savior. I really like this game because it has a lot of interesting challenges that I haven't seen in other games. I am very glad that we were able to save everyone they want. Now, let's move on to the next game. Just run forward and don't be distracted by him. We need to find a way out of this huge labyrinth. This is the same test that was in the series, the Squid Game. This is a huge robot coming towards us. He's destroying those towers of blocks. There are only a few shots left to hit his third paw. Wait, seriously? This guy continues to move in the same way. Oh. Hello, everyone, friends. Today we will run away from Mr. Funny's toy shop. We need to try to open this door. Oh, I don't think we can do this. Well, the green arrow shows us where we need to go. This is a staff room only. It's good that we work in this store. It's pretty dark in here. Let's use our flashlight so we can see what the problem is. We need to go to the next room. Look, there's some kind of leverage here. Let's click on it. We have restored the light. Great. Now, let's go back to our store. Our character heard some steps. I hope no one scares us in this room. It looks like we can be calm and move on. Oh, our huge toy has disappeared from the hall. Well, let's go look for him. We opened the door that we couldn't get into in the first place. Well, let's go there and try to find the toy that is missing. Looks like someone forgot to close the valves and now steam is coming out of the wall. You need to be as careful as possible. Look, 
There's some kind of thin pipe here. We need to get through it and press the lever to open platforms that will help us come further. We passed this test. Now let's move on. We need to climb this ladder to the top. And what awaits us ahead? It says that this is the number one fun game. The lights went out again. I don't think this is a very good sign. Well, some kind of labyrinth or something like that awaits us ahead. Let's try to find a way out of this maze as quickly as possible. I hope no one jumps out from around the corner and scares us. It seems to me that there is some strange light behind us. Oh my god, it's the same doll! She's running right behind us! Jax, don't stop. Just run forward and don't be distracted by him. We need to find a way out of this huge labyrinth. This guy really scared me. He runs so creepy. Oh look, I see red arrows. They point to the exit. Great, we found a way out of this maze. Bye-bye, stupid doll. Now we need to pass another test. Let's see what awaits us ahead. There are some stairs and platforms that we need to jump on. Okay, let's climb to the very top. It seems to me that if we just completed game number one, then there will be other interesting games. Yes, on the door at the end of the test, it says fun game two. Well, let's go in and see what kind of game awaits us. Look, this is the same test that was in the series, the squid game. You need to go here only when this doll is turned away from you. Well, I think we can handle this easily enough. The main thing is not to move when the light turns red. We just have to wait until he returns from us again. Great, we were able to do it again. Cool! This task was really interesting. I have never seen such tasks in any game where you need to run away from someone. I really like this task. Let's move on to the next room now. There are some lasers here that we need to jump over. Looks like we accidentally hit one of the lasers. It's good that this laser did not cause fatal damage to us, but removed half of our HP. Now we've reached the elevator and let's go up. I think the funny game three is somewhere nearby. Here's a fun game three. Well, I'm very interested in what kind of tests await us. We have to wait for the next game to start. Let's wait and go inside. Okay, now we can go inside. We need to find a safe place. There are several towers made of cubes. Well, let's try to climb one of these towers. Perhaps we can find a safe place there. We only have five seconds left. Oh no, we accidentally fell down. Well, let's try to climb up anyway. We need to survive for 40 seconds. Just look, this is a huge robot coming towards us. Oh my God, what is he doing? He's destroying those towers of blocks. Well, he does it quite slowly. I think surviving for 40 seconds here will be a pretty easy task. Let's wait until he destroys this fortress of cubes and hide in the next one. It seems to me that this guy is just wasting his time trying to break these fortresses because we can move from one fortress to another at any moment convenient for us. Only 14 seconds left. Come on, Jax. Just hide behind those brick towers. This guy is trying really hard to run to you, but these cubes are constantly getting in his way. Only a few seconds left. Great, we managed to do it. Now let's go to the exit. I wonder how many games there are in total. So far, we've managed three games without any difficulties. Wow, is this going downhill? He's quite interesting. It has an unusual shape. We're going down a spiral. Well, now we find ourselves in some dark room. It looks like some kind of warehouse. Let's get through it. I hope no one attacks us in this warehouse. There are some shelves with boxes here. Maybe we can find something interesting on these shelves. Looks like not. Oh, look, there are red arrows. We need to run there. There is definitely an exit from this location. Let's quickly go to this envelope tape. Yes, it looks like this tunnel is the exit from here. Let's get through it and see what lies ahead. Another storage room. I see a ladder. We need to climb it. Let's see what's at the top. It's a loader, but what should we do with it? Wait, are we going to go through this track on a loader now? Oh my god, this is very cool. We are jumping over a huge abyss with lava on a loader. I've always dreamed of doing this. This is very cool. I love it. Well, let's drive this route. I hope we can get through everything the first time. It is not as easy as it might seem at first glance. There are a lot of turns and jumps on it. The main thing is to press the jump button in time so as not to fall into this abyss. Yes, this route is really quite long. It seems to me that we have never played anything like this before. Of course, in the escapes from various prisons, there were cars or something like that, but we have never had to drive along long routes in a forklift. This is really cool. The creators of this map tried very hard to diversify it. Great, here's the finish. Well, let's get out of this forklift and up these stairs. It seems to me that at the end of this ladder, the next game number four awaits us. Oh, this reminds me of the Mario game. Well, let's climb into this pipe. Wow, we ended up on some blue platforms. Well, 
It seems to me that we need to choose the most successful platform and stand on it while the other platforms fall down. Well, it seems to me that we have chosen the most successful platform of all. This is great. We are really very lucky that our platform is not falling down. We are really very lucky. Well, we managed to beat this game with ease. Now let's go where the green arrow shows us. Wow, this is the exit door. Let's see what awaits us behind it. I see some kind of train. Are we really going to take this train to the exit from this location? This is very cool. Hooray! I'm very glad that we're getting through this game pretty quickly. The train has started moving? Well, let's see where it takes us. Oh, I think we got out. Wait, is this some kind of huge slide? I wonder what's at the end of this slide. I hope that the train will not derail and we will reach our destination. I also hope that the end of this game awaits us at the top of this mountain. Oh no, wait, I think the rails are collapsing. Oh no, we drove off the rails and now the train is collapsing and falling into some kind of giant tunnel. This is really very creepy. It's great that we managed to survive. And now we're heading to the final game. I think that in the final game, the final boss awaits us. Yes, just look, it's a spider robot. Well, let's go down and start fighting him. I hope he doesn't kill us. This spider doll really looks very creepy. Just look how terribly he moves his paws. Each paw has its own HP bar. Well, I think we need to shoot specific paws in order to slow down its movement. Jax, aim right at the paws to make it harder for him to run after us. This boss actually decreases HP very slowly. We might have to kill him for a really long time. We were able to break one of his paws. This is very cool. Now let's shoot the next one. I think if we can destroy two of his paws, he will not be able to move normally and will begin to lose his balance. He shoots very creepily from his eyes right at us. By the way, there are also purple puddles here that you definitely can't step into because they cause damage to us. Wait, we broke two of his paws. Why does he keep running like he still has all four limbs? I think this is wrong. I wonder if he will continue to run if we break all four of his legs. I think we need to continue shooting at the next paw to find out if this somehow affects its movement. I don't think he even slowed down after losing two of his four legs. This guy is really quite strange. There are only a few shots left to hit his third paw. He should definitely fall after this. Wait, seriously? This guy continues to move in the same way, having lost three of his four legs. How does he even manage to levitate in the air? It seems to me that this is a flaw on the part of the developers, and this definitely needs to be changed. Only one shot left. Great! We defeated him. It was quite difficult because it took quite a lot of shots to defeat him. It's good that we managed to cope with this. I really like this game. It's quite complex and creepy. Games like this are rare on Roblox. I completely agree with you. I also really like this game because it has a lot of innovations that were not present in previous games. Now let's move on to the next game. This is a huge robot cane. And this Jax looks really weird. It's very unusual to see him like this. He looks pretty interesting. Oh, just look at the light effect around him. This Jax is pretty fast, but he takes a lot of damage. Well, let's now free this very strange Pomni from this prison cell. Hello everyone, friends, and today we will again play Escape from the Amazing Digital Circus. But this time the game will be really different. Just look! Even Obby looks different at the very beginning. There are candy platforms here. This looks pretty interesting. Wow, look! In front is a huge lever that raises the platforms. Yes, this location is really very different from all the ones we played before. I really want to see what the first boss will look like. Let's jump on these platforms and go into the ventilation to meet him. Wood ventilation? It's pretty weird. Well, it doesn't matter. Let's go to the first boss area. And so we are inside. Kane, it's you. Oh, bro, you seem a little crazy. Why is he so noisy? We need to find a way out here! Let's climb this ladder! Oh, wait. Kane, haven't you learned how to climb stairs yet? It says here that we need to find dynamite. Let's find him in this location. And here comes the dynamite. I hope Kane doesn't catch up with us while we carry him upstairs. That's great! It's in our hands! But it seems to me that Kane still has some problems with how to climb stairs. Well, let's now free this very strange Pomni from this prison cell. Look! The bar's exploded! I wonder where she will go and what she will do. It seems to me that she is going in the direction of the pipes we need to climb. 
Well, she's already at the top, and now she'll follow them and most likely open a passage for us. Cool! We managed to free her. Let's now take this strange box. I wonder what we will get. Oh, now we can turn into this Pomni? Cool. Let's now go through this pipe and go to the next vent. Logically, we should be in a room with toilets. This pipe is quite long. In previous escapes from Barry's prison, we have not passed such difficult tests. Well, I already like the way this game starts. Let's quickly go to the room with toilets and see what awaits us there. There are green walls and different levers. Well, let's go to the second booth and dig a tunnel. I'm very interested to see what awaits us in the Obby Dungeon. There are platforms in the shape of ice cream. It looks really cool, but it's kind of weird that the ice cream is in the middle of lava. It's logical that it should have melted, but it retained its original shape. Well, let's now cross this bridge and move on. They decided to leave the bridge the same as it was. Well, this test is quite easy. Now we need to go into the mouth of this creepy clown and pass the next obby in front of the corridor with a huge rolling boulder. This boulder is blue and it makes very strange sounds. I have never seen such boulders before. Well, let's go through this corridor and go to the next boss. It will be Boss Night. I wonder who will be the boss of the night in this location. Last time it was Zubal. Now this boulder will roll past us and we will run to these stairs. Yes. I'm also very interested in who will be the next boss. Let's go upstairs and find out. There's some kind of egg here! Oh, we were given the ability to turn into this strange yellow guy! Well, okay, we won't turn into him anyway. Look, this is Pomni, which we freed, and now for some reason she is running after us. She looks very strange, and she is very different from the real Pomni. Well, let's run away from her. Did she jump? Really? I thought that she would run after us until the very end of this test, but it's good that she turned around! Now we need to climb these dilapidated steps to the top and we will start the energy drink race! And here comes the energy drink vending machine! Wow, just look at this creepy doll! I wonder who she was supposed to look like! Guys, write in the comments who this doll looks like! Let's beat this energy drink obby and move on to the next challenges. I'm very interested to know who will be the final boss in this game. But I think it will be Kane because he is always chosen as the main boss in these games. We're here for the energy drink race. Now let's go up these stairs and complete the task where you need to place the stairs exactly under the ventilation. Oh look, there is some kind of egg in this room. We were given the opportunity to turn into another strange person. Now let's install this ladder to get into the ventilation. I hope we can do it the first time. Cool, we were able to do it. And now we will need to go through the race with fans. This is as cool a challenge as the energy drink race. There is quite a large distance between the platforms that we need to jump over. I hope Jax doesn't screw this up and can pass this test with ease. I see another egg there at the end. Let's make a few jumps. Get to him and see what character they give us. Wow, look, we can turn into some kind of corrupted version of me. Let's turn into it now. And this Jax looks really weird. It's very unusual to see him like this. It also glows. This is great. Look, there's another egg there. What kind of character will they give us? This is Catnap. Cool. Now let's move on to the boss night. But before that, let's take another egg. And it's a gangle. He looks pretty weird. By the way, Kane, you said that boss night is waiting for us here, but this is the boss cook in the form of Jax. Cool, let's kill him quickly. This Jax is pretty fast, but he takes a lot of damage. By the way, there are still several Easter eggs scattered in this location. We need to fight off Jax and pick them up. Now we've been given another catnap. Cool, let's see what happens in the next egg. Only a couple of shots left. Great, we hit him and he died. At that moment, we took another egg. Now we have been given the ability to turn into a snowman and we are done with this boss. Now let's head to that slide. Oh wait, another egg. Some strange blue bear. Cool! Now we need to go down. There are only two tests left to complete before meeting the final boss. I wonder if we will find a few more eggs while we go to him. I think we should turn into some other character. Let's choose one of them. I think it would be cool to turn into a skeleton gangle. He looks pretty interesting. Oh, just look at the light effect around him. He releases some glowing hearts from himself. It looks very nice. We only have to go through the laser test and the bridge test before the final boss. 
Let's concentrate on passing these challenges in order to meet the final boss and defeat him. I really hope we can get it done as quickly as possible. We've almost passed the laser test. Cool, we're at the top. Now let's go to the bridge room. Here you will need to use our life hack and initially reset all the bars down in order to deal with this as quickly as possible. And we don't have to climb this ladder every time for a new bar. The last bar remains to be reset. Great, we're down. Let's now install these bridges in order to cross them and not fall into this abyss. I just can't wait to see the final boss. Let's try to do everything as quickly as possible. Now we need to pick up the final bar and install it. Cool, we did it. And now let's move on to the final boss area. There's another egg here. Wow, we were given the opportunity to turn into a bear. Now let's fight the final boss. This is a huge robot cane. Oh wait, he runs out of HP too quickly. We only had six shells to kill him completely. It was the easiest boss fight of all time. Why did he have so little HP? I really liked this game because there is the opportunity to transform into other characters. I hope that the creators of modes in Roblox will try to do something similar and we will definitely play it. Now, let's move on to the next game. Oh look, giant Pomni. Skibidi toilet? But what is he doing here? It's very strange that there are such characters in the Circus Obby map. And now we will use this key to open it and go inside. Hello everyone, friends, and today we will go through the most difficult Obby Circus in Roblox. There's a giant Pomni at the end! We definitely need to move forward and go through all these trials. But why is this the hardest obby? Because in the tests in this obby, you really have to think a lot and try to get through them to the end. I find it really quite difficult to get through the spinning things. They spin so fast, I can't imagine how you can run past them. It's very cool that Jax managed to complete this task on the first try. By the way, have you noticed that there is really a very large distance between these white platforms. This obby is no longer made for children, but for more experienced players. And now we have walked along this multicolored plasticine, and ahead of us again, there are multicolored platforms that we will also go through very quickly. Skibidi toilet? But what is he doing here? It is very strange. This is an obby about our circus. Okay, it doesn't matter. Let's just keep going through this obby. Oh, we have to guess the right way here. You need to show intuition. Let's try the left one first. Okay, we're through, and now the right one. Yes. Great. Now we are faced with a difficult test in which we need to jump from platform to platform and not touch these glowing pillars. But Jax can do it very quickly. Come on, Jax. Only one platform left. Great. We did it. Now let's climb those stairs. Wait, what? Why are we moving back? Okay, we climbed up it. Now we need to go forward. Again, white glowing cubes that are located quite far from each other. Well, I can say that this is one of the most difficult obbies I have ever completed in my life, not counting the Tower of Hell. Wait, what? I'm being pushed to the left! It's strange that this platform pushes you to the left. After all, there are no marks on it. What's important is that we managed to pass it. Now let's move on. By the way, back to the topic of the Tower of Hell. There is one character among us who completed it completely. Now the shadow of this character will appear on the screen. Pause this video and try to guess in the comments who it is. I hope you answered correctly, and the correct answer will appear on the screen in three, two, one. And yes, you were right. This is Zubal. Yes, guys! Once upon a time I completed this game completely. It was the most difficult test of my life. I'm actually surprised that I actually managed to do it. I once tried to play Tower of Hell and I spent 20 minutes trying to pass the first test. After I failed, I just stopped trying to beat this game and quit it. I think you have to be crazy to beat this game. This is a really very difficult game, but it is much more difficult than the one we are playing now. But I also can't say that this obby is so easy. It's really hard to pass. Let's just move on. By the way, did you notice that on the left side of us, there is a huge house with skibidi toilets and some kind of muscular among us. Let's go up to them and look at them. It's very strange that there are such characters in the Circus Obby map. But in general, the muscular among us looks quite strange and funny. Well, let's continue to go through our Obby. There are still many interesting challenges ahead. There's some kind of snake or something like that ahead. Let's get through it as quickly as possible. I can't wait to see challenges harder than what we're going through now. Now, we need to jump over these stairs. Well, this is also a pretty easy task. And now we need to jump over these green platforms. Look, 
These platforms here are installed in the shape of a flower. Well, this task is also quite easy because it seems to me that it is impossible to fall into this central hole between these small platforms. So far, we're getting through it pretty easily. I hope Jax continues to complete these levels just as quickly. Now the main thing for us is not to step on bad platforms. Well, it's right that you chose to jump on the gray platforms and not on the purple ones. Because if we jumped on the purple ones, we would fall through them. Now let's just keep running forward. I hope we're pretty close to the end of this, Abby. It's a shame that there is no progress bar like in previous levels, and we can't see how close we are to the finish line. Well, I think the main thing is to just keep running forward and not stop. Now we need to run between these walls as quickly as possible in order to reach the end of this obby! But just look how quickly I go through it! Wow! I was surprised at how I managed to do it. Well, it seems to me that we are already very close to the end of this game. There's only a little left. I think we should run to that huge treehouse. Let's try to get to it as quickly as possible. Again, this staircase that pushes us back. To be honest, she always pissed me off. And now we need to go through these tasks in which we need to choose the right path. I'm amazed how Jax manages to always guess the right path. It's really quite difficult. Well now, let's go through some more tests. It seems to me that we are already as close to the finish line as possible. There are only easy tasks ahead. Good thing there are no more tasks with stairs that push us back because this task takes too much time. It's really boring. There's only a little bit left. I'm very interested in what awaits us at the very end. Oh look, right in front of us is a giant Pomni. Let's take a look at her. I wouldn't like to dwell on this, but let's at least see what she looks like. Well, she looks pretty funny. And now we can continue further. The finish line is very close. It's very strange that in our circus obby they added only one Pomni model, and nothing else that could be connected with our cartoon. But nevertheless, this obby is quite complex and interesting, so I'm still glad that we played it. Come on, Jax. Push a little more. There are only a few tasks left until the end. By the way, did you notice that there is some kind of huge room with Robux? I wonder what we will get when we enter this room. And here is the end. It's cool that we have a key to this door, and now we will use this key to open it and go inside. Wait, what? Where are our Robux? Why is there some kind of ping pong here? It's quite strange because it requires two players to play it. I was hoping we'd see something different here. Okay, let's go back and try to get ready for this giant treehouse. Maybe there will be something interesting in it like boosts or other nonsense? And unfortunately not. It's just an ordinary treehouse with absolutely nothing in it. Well, okay, the main thing is that we completed this game completely and now we can move on to the next game.